So what are wireframes? Um, wireframes are basically the skeleton of the site before any design or any type of visual um, emphasis or aesthetic is placed on the site. So you're basically trying to see, okay, I have a site in mind. What is it gonna look like? How is it gonna function? And what's the layout gonna be? Um, what, how is it, how is it gonna react to the person that accesses it? Um, in this case, I'm going to actually show an example of how I came up with the new CHD Collective site, our site. Um, which, um, which basically started off from an idea with me being on the train and use, utilizing my iPad to come out with an idea. So I've originally just started sketching out some things and it's very rough. And there's very different types of wireframing. There's low fidelity, which could be something like a sketch or maybe just like a few boxes placed on somewhere so that you can get a good idea as to where you're going to place things. Um, there's high fidelity, which is a little bit more detailed and you have more of a visual sense as to where things are, are going to show up or where they're going to be placed and even almost what colors they're going to be but you're still not applying them yet. And then after that you go to the visual design. So here you'll see sketches where I wanted the image and the tagline to be at the top and then I wanted the about us and then projects to be underneath. I knew that I wanted it to be all on one page and I knew that I kind of had an idea as to what the layout looked like but I just wanted to get the idea out of my head. So once I did that, then I used Axure and basically put together a more, um, a more refined approach as to what the site should look like. So you'll see actual boxes and, and more of the navigation rather than just a box that says navigation. You'll see our mission, our history, our strategy, who we are. Um, and this can go through many different iterations because in this stage you're able to actually see what's important, what's what plays hierarchy on the website? What, what do I want the user to do first? Um, and then from that, without any colors applied, you're able to sense, okay, this is what I need for them to do. This is what needs to be changed. And once you're able to settle on that, then you can actually come up with an actual design. So here you'll see that the design was applied um, from the wireframes, uh, the About Us section with the side nav, um, the Our Work section, um, the blog, and then even like a footer. So you, you're, at, you're able to, to do this um, for a number, a number of different pages. And it can be as simple as a one page wireframe, or it can be as simple as, or it can be more complex. Like when, when I did a iPad map application and I had over 70 pages of wireframes to make sure that I knew how each thing was going to work and that it worked and, and functioned effectively before any visual design was applied. The software I use to develop my wireframes is um, called Axure, A-X-U-R-E. You can also use, there's Balsamic, which is really cool, um, OmniGraffle, and then Microsoft Visio. So there's a number of different ways, and then there's a, a, like, a number of um, online wireframing tools that you can use as well.